Hi guys, it's Rich here from Midwales Plumbing and Heat Supplies. If you have a broken CMS927 or CM927 thermostat, with the screen gone and you want a replacement, this is the video for you. Today I'm going to show you three simple thermostats to replace your CM927 depending on your budget. So first up is the Pro Series thermostat. So the Pro Series thermostat is uh, the, the closest replacement thermostat you will get to the CMS 927. So as you can see, it's pretty similar layout to the CMS 927. And the nice thing about the Pro Series thermostat is it will pair to an existing BDR 91. Unfortunately, if you do have the older generation CM921, CM927, CM727, and you have the rectangular relay box instead of a square one like this BDR91, unfortunately, these thermostats will not work, okay? So you do have to have a square BDR91, or you will have to replace your uh, rectangular relay box, which will look very similar to this, but it will be longer and rectangular uh, with a BDR91, okay? So, I'm going to show you how simple this is. So what you have to do, if you buy the Pro Series thermostat, you have to, you have to pair the Pro Series thermostat to your BDR91. Okay, to do that, all you need to do is press and hold the button on the BDR91, and you keep it held for about 15 to 20 seconds. Okay? So you keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it, until you get this fast flash which occurs about 15 seconds. When you get here, let go, okay? On the thermostat, what you wanna do is then, you wanna power up your thermostat, set your time and date and everything until you come to your main menu like this. When you get to this menu, all you need to do is press the plus, the minus, and the middle button all at the same time. So that's plus, the minus, and the middle button, okay? And what will happen, it will come up bind like this on the screen, okay? On your relay then, all you need to do is then press and hold the button for about five seconds, okay? And you'll see your fast flash change to a slow flash, like so. And what will happen after a, I don't know, minute or so, you'll see the light go off and you'll see the save icon on the screen. Now this thermostat has now paired with this BDR91. Uh, so if you turn the, the actual thermostat up, we turn this right the way up to my 21, 22 degrees, something like that. What you'll see is the green light will come on your relay like this, okay? So that is then paired. So that is how easy it is to pair this thermostat to your BDR91. So if we move on to the next one, so I put that there. So your second option is the T87RF and RFG100, or what we call the upgrade pack. Now, these two thermostats, so the Pro Series and the T87RF, only work if you have a gas boiler, okay? So this, will, this is only applicable to gas boilers, okay? Because unfortunately, neither the Pro Series nor the T87RF have the settings for oil boilers, okay? So the T87RF is very, is very uh, similar, but the difference is this will connect to, so this thermostat will connect to this RFG100, and then you can use this thermostat as a smart thermostat. Okay, so it works with the Honeywell Total Connect Comfort platform. And the thermostat is very easy, you can pair this very easy again to a BDR91. So if you have a BDR91 like this, if you follow the following pairing sequence, it's very, very easy, okay? So again, if you press and hold the button on the BDR91, and you keep pressing the button, Okay, and again, you've got to get to the 15 second mark where you clear the binding. So you're going to then clear the binding from your CM927 or your CM921 or 727, okay? Which is the fast flash, which happens about 15 second mark. Once you get here, let go, okay? On the T87RF, it has two touch zones. So where it says wireless at the bottom of the thermostat, there is two touch zones, one on the right, one on the left, okay? And what you need to do you need to touch the left hand touch zone, which is here at the bottom, and you'll see the screen illuminate, okay? So keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it until you get BO come on the screen, okay? When you get to BO, all you need to do is put the relay box back into pairing mode, which again, press and hold this button for five seconds. 
like so. So it's in pairing mode, and then you press the left hand touch zone again, and it will send the RF signal from the T87RF to the BDR91, and the lights will go out again, like so. Okay, so this thermostat is now paired to this BDR91. So if I turn the thermostat up to say 21 degrees, it takes a few seconds. So what happens is the information goes from here over to here, and basically that then brings on your green tick. Okay, so you can see the flame on this side and the green light on this side is illuminated. Okay, so that is your T87RF and RFG100 upgrade. So this is a very simple upgrade, very simple thermostat, but you can do all the programming and you can use the thermostat remotely via the RFG100, which plugs into your broadband router. Okay, so that is your second upgrade option. I'll put those over there. And then last but no means least, we have the Eva Home option. So Eva Home is, uh, can be used as a simple replacement for a CM927. So everyone always thinks of Eva Home as a very complex thermostat, when actually it's a very uh, simple upgrade for a CMS927. So the Eva Home controller can be paired to a BDR90, an existing BDR91, which means, like all the other thermostats I've shown you today, it can be easily paired across without getting an installer in or anything like that, okay? So if you have a BDR91, you can pair an EVA home controller in as a single zone thermostat into your BDR91, and I'll show you how to do that. So on the setting, so when you get onto the main screen, there's a settings button. If you press and hold, go back, if you press and hold the settings button, like so, you will then have a menu option, green tick, factory reset, green tick. And then if you go into guided configuration, and then where it says zone control configuration, top one, green tick. Then it says, do you want to control your heating or cooling appliance remotely, which we do because you have a BDR91. So we go green tick, okay. And it comes up the top option, wireless relay box. We're gonna go wireless relay box. And it says put the relay into bind mode and then press the bind button below okay so again i'm going to put the relay here into pairing mode so i'm going to press that button for 15 seconds again like so okay and then i'm going to put press it for five seconds now to put it back into pairing mode So, and then I'm gonna press the button here. I'm hoping it's gonna work because Evo is a very powerful device. So I'm hoping that these in proximity, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna press the button anyway, okay? And what happens is the green light goes off. You get a green tick come up on the Evo Home Controller to say you've bound successfully, green tick that. And then it's gonna say it can be used as a thermostat one zone. So we're gonna use that option. This living room is default, but you can change this to whatever you want. And then if you press the forward arrow, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to use the sensor inside the Eva Home Controller as the temperature sensor, which we do. And that's it. You are now, so if we exit the menu then, you are now set up as a single zone controller with your existing BDR91. And this can be used with gas boilers or set to use for oil boilers as well. So it's a really good controller. And also it has the op opportunity on this thermostat that you can upgrade it to uh, smart TRVs or multi-zoning or anything like that. So it's a really, really good controller for an upgrade for a CMS 927, okay? So that is your three options. So to uh, just go back through what I was saying. So the upgrade options are, you've got the Pro Series thermostat, so this is your first upgrade option if you're CMS 927 or CM921 or whatever you've got that's uh, broken. Uh, if you've got an existing BDR 921, this is your first upgrade option. The T87RF and RFG100 upgrade is your second option. And the EVA Home System is your third upgrade option. Obviously this one is for gas and oil boilers and these two options, this one and this one, are for gas boilers. So if you've got a gas boiler, you can upgrade with 
either of those options, but if you've got an oil boiler and you've got a CMS 927, you can upgrade with the EVA Home option. And the EVA Home option also gives you the opportunity to upgrade to smart TRVs and make your system even more efficient. So if you have any questions at all about the video we've just done and the items that I've just covered, then please drop us a message in the video below or alternatively, you can send us an email to sales at mwphs.co.uk. That's sales at mwphs.co.uk. And I'd just like to say big thanks for everyone who's recently subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to this video so other people know how good the video is. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Richard and I'll see you on the next one.